most exciting and heartwarming responsibilities of every board president is the presentation of the President's Lifetime Achievement Award. It is an honor to be the one who chooses this recipient, that person who possesses our most valued qualities of committed service and leadership to Sweet Adelines International. This year's honoree is the embodiment of that servant leader and I am in awe of her contributions to Sweet Adelines. Though many of those contributions have been in the spotlight, I'd venture to say that the majority of them are unheralded and behind the scenes, quietly offered in selfless devotion to our organization. Passionate about our mission and fearless in her pursuit of it, this year's recipient is willing to take on just about any task and give of herself and her myriad talents to further our organization's goals. As a result, she's done just about ev every job ever invented by the inventive Sweet Adeline Mine. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor and immense pleasure to present the 2019 President's Lifetime Achievement Award to Cammie McKinley. You can keep clapping, yes you may. She deserves it. Well, let me tell you a little bit more about our, oh, well, we're singing now. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> well, let me just tell you a little bit more about her and then you can sing to her some more. So Cammie was born and raised in Aberdeen, Scotland. <laughs> The eldest of four girls. That probably explains a lot right there. <laughs> Cammy told me that her mother was a staunch believer in volunteerism, so she learned from an early age that giving freely of your time was simply the norm. After marriage and settling in Vancouver, Canada, she discovered Sweet Adelines and the Lionsgate Chorus in 1986. Because giving freely of your time was the norm, Cammie immediately volunteered for a job, Keeper of the Chorus Bulletin Board. <laughs> By the end of her first year of membership, she was elected to an officer position of the Chorus Board, ultimately serving as Vice President and President, and 36 years later, she is yet again Chorus Team Coordinator. She has served her chorus in too many roles to recount, including finding Lionsgate current director, Sandy Marin. <laughs> Cami herself is a certified director and one of Lionsgate's assistant directors. Her chorus says, and I quote, Week after week, one can see Cami at the rehearsal hall helping to set up risers, taking her turn doing warm-ups, singing and dancing in the front row, perhaps discussing new chorus costume designs, perhaps discussing a sectional. You name it, she does it. Having that unique combination of expert, administrative, and creative skills, Cami has been involved in so many different ways that it's really hard to mention Lionsgate without mentioning Cami in the same breath. She is universally loved and never hesitates to be the first to lend a hand to any project. That's what her chorus says. In addition to her chorus service, Cami has filled many regional leadership roles, including PR and marketing chair, vice regent, events coordinator, education coordinator, and chair of the regional convention. She was honored by Region 26 with the Spirit of 26 Sweet Adeline of the Year Award. In 2004, Cami was elected to the International Board of Directors. Again, in record speed at the end of her first year on the board, she was elected vice president and ultimately served as our international president from 2010 to 2012. 
Her term as president included the critical transition from management team to CEO leadership at international headquarters. And she was also instrumental in creating a dialogue with the leaders of that time that ultimately led to the open division and new international finals judging criteria. Kami has served as the co-chair of the 2014 Acapella Harmony Academy and the 2017 and upcoming 2020 IESs. She has been chair of the International Nominating Committee, Membership Committee, and Regional Leadership Committee. Her leadership on each of these committees has consistently advanced and enhanced organizational programs and policies. She has served on the Education Direction Committee as our worldwide liaison, is on the international faculty, and is a panel secretary. Her expert grasp of English grammar and incredible attention to detail has led her to her appointment to the Pitch Pipe Magazine Editorial Review Board many times. She is now in her final year on the International Board of Directors after 16 years of service. One of Cammie's chorus's favorite saying is, the director is always right, but Cammie knows everything. <laughs> we on the board of directors feel exactly the same. One of my favorite quotes about, quotes about Cammie says, what I love about Cammie is that she is seriously unflappable in any situation. She cannot be flapped. <laughs> She is the calm, solid presence in the eye of the storm. You can always count on Cami. Her dependability and consistency provide an unaltering foundation in our ever-changing world that is invaluable. Cami absolutely is sweet Adeline's. And I agree, it's so true. That's right, you can clap, oh, just clap away, clap, clap, clap. And I think the following beautiful tribute from another of her chorus mates says it all just perfectly. She writes, Cammy wears a string of pearls virtually every day of her life. They were a gift from her mother and I think the perfect analogy for Cammy herself. Just like pearls, most of Cammy's contributions to the world of Sweet Adeline's and the greater world around her have been created by daily, incremental, often unglamorous toil, far away from the limelight. A single pearl is definitely beautiful in its own right, but a string of pearls, perfectly matched in color and selected for size that must diminish from center to end, creates a whole different dimension of attention to detail and overall impact, just like Cami. Cammie, your contributions to Sweet Adeline's International are endless, and they tell the story of why your name belongs on the list of Lifetime Achievement Award winners. You have given so generously of yourself to all of us and continue to do so, and Sweet Adeline's has been changed for good by you. It is with great admiration, love, and deep appreciation that I present the President's Lifetime Achievement Award for 2019 to you, Cammie McKinley, an enduring example of the true spirit of Sweet Adeline's. Thank you, Patty, for that incre this incredible honor. I'm really quite overwhelmed, and your words were so beautiful. When Patty announced at the board meeting in June that I was to be her recipient of this prestigious award, I was really completely flabbergasted. And I remember saying something like, but I haven't done anything. <laughs> I but I really believe that I haven't done anything extraordinary. I joined Lionsgate Chorus to sing, and I just fell in love with all of it instantly. And here I am, 33 years later, still at it. Um, time is short. My chorus insisted I wear my pearls with my costume, so there you go. I do have a lot of people I'd like to thank, but I'm going to keep the list quite short just in the interest of time, because I know there are more interesting things that, or more 
better things that you're wait waiting for. I have been incredibly fortunate to have had many mentors who have encouraged, guided, helped, support, taught, and nurtured me. One at the regional level was Carol Clausen from West Coast Harmony, who was a really staunch encourager. And another one was Ellen Gallagher, a fellow Scot who at the regional level taught me about leadership, kindness, and grace. At the international level, Marsha Fulton, Carol Persinger, Kathy Carmody, Betty Clipman, Peggy Graham, and especially Marcia Pinvidic have all blessed me with their wisdom, expertise, time, energy, passion, humor, wine. <laughs> my cup truly runneth over. My region, Region 26, my chorus, Lionsgate, and of course, my director, Sandy Marin, have been my constant source of support. We have been through a lot together over the years, and through each experience, I have gained wisdom and become the stronger for it. My many quartets, especially Fandango, and particularly Jan Carley, we've been singing together for 20 years, I have counted on you all numerous times to have my back. My two ever-supportive children, long-suffering, Christy and Callan and their now extended families, have made me the happiest and most blessed mother and grandmother in the world. My husband, Don, is the most important person in my world and deserves the biggest thanks. Many of you met and fell in love with him in Seattle when he introduced me as international president and sang his way into your hearts. Well, he more than sang his way into my heart in San Moritz in 1975, and I am so lucky he is still here every minute of every day. I am certain that I would not be receiving this award if it weren't for him. He has helped me, mentored me, listened to me, advised me, supported me, taught me, joined me at events he'd much rather not be at, I'm sure, <laughs> stood beside me and behind me, and through it all, loved me unconditionally. Don, I love you with all my heart. Thank you for being my partner, my lover, and my friend. And then there's the rest of my family, all of you and my sweet Adeline friends, both here in New Orleans and watching from afar. The support and love that we have for each other, whether known or not known, is really quite extraordinary. We hear stories every day of women whose lives have been enriched by their association with Sweet Adelines, where just showing up at a rehearsal has changed the course of their lives. I am one of them. Never doubt for a moment the impact we have on other people. It is profound. You are the reason I am receiving this award, and for that I thank you all. I always have a calendar on the wall beside my desk, and this particular one this year has a quote for each month. This month it says, quite appropriately, try not to be a person of success, but rather try to be a person of value. I believe that I've always tried to be a person of value, and I plan to continue to be that person and to dare greatly, as I am not done yet. Thank you very much. <laughs>